I'm Samantha Eric here in Columbus, Ohio. After the Timbers' first full day here, they started the day off with training, but before they could hit the field, they spoke with the massive media turnout about the team's prep and mood ahead of Sunday's championship game. It's, uh, it's what we've been waiting for, um, to, to put on our cleats here in Columbus and, and, and get to work. Um, we know it's, uh, it's an important game for us, obviously, for, for, for everybody. So um, it feels good to, to have the whole group here and uh, just getting ready for training. What would you say the mood of the locker room is right now? It's a confident group, uh, a group that has a lot of belief, um, a group that's not satisfied either. So um, we know that you know we're we're in a good position, but uh, we're not satisfied, and we want to get the we want to get the the trophy. I'm excited. Uh, I'm really happy and proud that I, I've been able to come this far in my first season, and hopefully, hopefully we can win on Sunday, and I can yeah celebrate the. Uh, a fantastic first season. You know, in my head now is is just uh, you know scout the the rival, try to think about how is good in my position, you know, and how I help the team and just train that. And what would it mean to you to hoist that MLS Cup on Sunday? It means a lot. You know, it's special for me. This year has been hard. It's been long, and uh, I know that this is special for our, my club. So. I will leave it everything into the field and wait for that because sometimes you can't control everything and you can you have to control your performance nothing nothing else after training the team had a formal press conference where the media heard from head coach Caleb Porter center back Liam Ridgewell and midfielder Darlington Nagby you know people ask me this year you know what makes your team good I think it's the things I mentioned we're balanced um, but the biggest thing is I think we're humble you know we go into games and this is a humble group of guys, confident, but not, not uh, naive. And uh, we're humble. We look at ourselves. We know our weaknesses, our strengths. We know the opponent's strengths, weaknesses. And um, we're very tactically flexible. And w we can do different things to win games. And these guys, you know, buy into that. Like I said, they're not, uh, they're not naive. Uh, and that's why we look very businesslike. Um, because, you know, there's, there's none of this cocky talk, this arrogant talk. Um, it's very, I got a great group of guys that are really humble. You look at the best 11, we don't have a guy in the best 11. You look at the all-star team, we don't have a guy on the all-star team. But then when you go through every single position, we got a good player in every position. You know, when you go through every single position, I'm not sure I trade any guy in every position. And, and so I think it's the team and it's our approach and our complete uh, both sides of the ball um, way of playing that make us good. I think uh, this season it's been about hard work. The, the side has worked hard for each other. You know, like the gaffer said, ev in every position everyone's worked hard together and stuck to the job. Um, and that's been a good thing all year about us. There's no, no one been off on their own that's had their own agenda about doing anything we've all wanted to do what each other wanted to do and, and make the playoffs and, and now go and win it as well. So, you know, touching on your question saying, is it a big game? Yeah, of course it's a big game. You know, we don't sit up here every week talking to this many media every week, that's for sure. It's only about four or five people at the training ground. So I think, yeah, it's, it's a big game, but, you know, the build up, the way we'll go about the game will be exactly the same as any other game. You know, you start thinking it's a big final and, you, you know, you'll, you'll let yourself get away from yourself and, and suddenly um, it, will, it will pass you by without a, a blink of an eye. So, you know, we're just going to it, looking to stay calm, looking to win the game and carry on like it's a normal, normal game and then we'll, then we'll celebrate like it's a big game after it. I mean, that's the ultimate goal, you know, so uh, everything good that's happened to me over the past month or so, it's, uh, it's been great, but I think getting the cup would be the ultimate goal and the, the best feeling. That's what you work towards for when you come in the, in the camp in January. Caleb Porter also said that both Liam Ridgewell and Fernando Adi will be available for Sunday's game. As for tomorrow, the Timbers will train at Mafre Stadium for their last session ahead of Sunday's MLS Cup. Stay tuned to Timbers.com for all the coverage.